Hello and welcome back to a very special edition of the things that I printed in 3D this week, otherwise known as the M3D Prints of the Week. As you may be aware, later this week is July 4th, otherwise known as Independence Day here in the States. So thanks to a suggestion from one of you guys, I thought this week that I would showcase some of the things that I've done recently that are Independence Day related. Now the suggestion that I received specifically was for a cookie cutter. It was a USA themed cookie cutter and actually I went ahead and printed all three letters. As you can see here, I've got the U and the S and then the A, which turned out slightly larger because I made a mistake when I printed it and scaled the wrong part. I ended up scaling these down just a little bit because they didn't look quite right at the full resolution. I thought they were gonna make some massive cookies. I kind of wish that I had done them at the full resolution now because the size of this one is a little bit more conducive to cookieism. I didn't end up filming the printing of all of these just because it was kind of the same thing over and over again, but you can see how it worked in this first little video here. Each of these letters took about three hours to print out. So this is a pretty significant investment right here. And unfortunately, as you can see right here, these letters didn't work out particularly well. They're not terribly deep in terms of the cookie cutter section of them, and they've got all these slots that are supposed to make the little indention in the cookies, but you sort of either get the barely push down and get a little bit of an indention and then have to cut around them, or push all the way in and have them kind of smash into the little holes and never ever come out again. Maybe if I were using a less sticky dough. I ended up going out and just picking up some peanut butter dough because we don't really keep cookie dough in the house. We didn't even have a rolling pin or anything, so I kind of had to mush it all down by hand. So unfortunately, these didn't work out particularly well for me, but luckily, I did go ahead and I thought ahead a little bit. My wife actually kind of suggested it. The same company that made these Star and Stripe cookie cutouts actually made one that's completely cut out that has the same letters on them. So I went ahead and used that. And while it was still a bit sticky, I'm not terribly good at cutting out cookies or anything. I think they turned out pretty well. Just cut them out like you would with a traditional cookie cutter, stick them in the oven for a few minutes. I think it was right around nine minutes that I had it in there and they were good to go. And the last thing that I printed was actually this. And I was thinking about it and it was like, well, I'm gonna have a plate full of cookies. What am I gonna do to go along with a plate full of cookies? And then I saw over on Thingiverse this Bald Eagle bottle opener. So of course my first thought is, I'll just crack open a bottle of beer and have that with some cookies. But I don't really drink all that much. So I decided to go with AL8, a beverage made right here in Kentucky. It does have a screw off bottle top, but it does still work with a bottle opener. But I did go ahead and print this bottle opener at full resolution. It is extremely hefty, extremely sturdy. I mean, I can squeeze on it. It is not going anywhere. If I really put some heft into it and tried to break it, I might be able to, but it is just solid as a rock. This really does go to show the kind of things you can do with a 3D printer, and hopefully this will work out appropriately. I guess we'll find out here in a second. But that is gonna be about all from me for today. If you're in a place that celebrates Independence Day, definitely have a fun and a safe one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button down below the video if you like this video, and subscribe to receive more videos when they become available, and I will see you again next time.